Can you imagine having a mechanic at home? Can you imagine having a mechanic in your own garage? Can you imagine having a mechanic in your pocket? Right, in your pocket. That's what this little device will allow. This little easy diagnostic tool will allow a mechanic to be in your pocket. And I'm about to explain that to you. Let's get started. Okay, this little device right here is called Launch. Um, it's easy diagnostic, but a company called Launch makes it. I'll leave a link in the, in the description below so you can get a little bit more information. This is the little package it, it comes in. And this package tells you everything that this little device will do, so I'll read it to you. Um, in the package, obviously, you get instructions which are very easy to follow. It takes like five minutes to set this up. This is what the packaging says. It says, this is what it says. This is what it looks like. I'll read to you what it says. Easy Dig, Easy Dig 2.0. Uh, turn your phone into an ultra smart OBD2 diagnostic tool. It's compatible with the iPhone and Android devices. It's also uh, compatible with the iPod and an iPad. Again, the company's name is Launch. This is what it says on the back. The features and benefits. The Easy Diagnostic turns your Apple or Android phone into a powerful OBD2 diagnostic tool. Find out why your check engine light is on, read and clear codes, graph live data, and more. Live data. That's pretty cool. Okay. OBD2 generic reader scanner capabilities include it's a uh, it's a Bluetooth that's how you connect it to your phone uh, it reads codes it clears codes defines and turn check engine light off and on uh, for 1996 and newer OBD compatible cars SUVs and light trucks compatible system and subsystem coverage with live data and graphing for engine, ABS, SRS, and transmission with enhanced coverage. Customizable software for, from over 30 Asian, European, and domestic manufacturers for enhanced capability. So, once you uh, log on, sign up, get it working, you can, um, uh, for example, this is a Land Rover. I can program it to work just on Land Rover. Uh, I can program it just to work on GMC, just to work on Toyota. It can be specific to your make, your model. So not only are you getting what the check code is, you're getting what the check code is for your car. So let me show you how you uh, uh, set it up, hook it up to your car. Okay, right here, I'm holding the directions. Real simple little book. Uh, like I said, it's called a Quick Guide because it is quick and easy. Two languages, English and Spanish. Open it up. You simply, first step, you download the app. Second step, you log in and then you set up the connection with your phone and the device via Bluetooth and then you just follow the simple steps then you tell it what car that you're working on and you're ready to go it's just that simple then you plug it into the car uh, you have to connect it to bluetooth first plug it to the car and then we'll check a um, and then you can start checking codes okay now you simply take the little cap off and you find where your OBD2 uh, port is and that's typically under your steering wheel above the gas and brake pedal to the left or right. Mine happens to be to the left of the pedal and as soon as I stick it in, you heard it go beep beep. In case you didn't hear it, I'll do it again. So there it is, it's, uh, it's connected to the car. I'm going to put the key in, turn it on, and then uh, we'll start checking some code. I'm ready to sign in so you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is the icon that I downloaded. This is the app that I downloaded. Click the app. It says launching the app. 
this is what it looks like. I'm already logged in. Is it see? Is it said login successful? Right there. Uh, zoom in. Eh, doesn't want to zoom in. But Oxman again. Oxman again, right there. So I'm already logged in, and as you can see, as you can see, there's plenty of different makes and models you could choose from. So I mean, you're pretty much going to find your particular vehicle. So since I'm already logged in, let me show you some of the features. You have diagno diagnose, maintenance database, uh, my report, one key upgrade, settings and follow. Settings and follow and then mine. So uh, for instance, click on my report. Uh, like I said, I don't have any issues, so I don't have any report. But if you did, this is where it would be. Go back. So right here. Again, I'm going to go to Europe because this is a Land Rover. Right there it says Land Rover. And then it says, uh, kindly reminder, you haven't uh, registered any particular vehicle yet. So right here, here's your paperwork that comes with, uh, with the box. I'll go ahead and register uh, the serial number and the verification code. So I'll do that and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, I just logged in. It says confirmed. I hit the little X. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start the car up and then uh, we'll see it in action. Okay, now uh, I already have the device paired to Bluetooth. So I'll go ahead and tap it. It says connecting. It says it's connected. And there I am. I'm connected. Check the latest version. Okay, so I'm connected. Let me go ahead and run some diagnostic tests so we can see how it works. Okay, so uh, right here you click your EOBD2. EOBD. I don't know if you heard that, but the launch plug-in device uh, beeped. And then you have all this stuff right here. You have all this stuff. Ding search protocol now it's just running through the system it's running through the system and it's just checking everything it is just checking everything and okay and then live data current powertrain diagnostic data look at all this stuff you get man I mean look vehicle vehicle speed sensor ignition time advance for number one cylinder intake air temperature um, airflow rate mass airflow sensor I mean look at all this stuff that you get let's look at um, let's look at the air rate flow Simply select that, or down here you can select all. We'll just go with the one I selected. Hit confirm. Look at this. Uh, if I had the car running, this is what we would be able to see. This. Let me turn the car on so we can see. Okay, now the car is running, and you can see that it's giving you live information. Let me see here, so I can record it, reports, or hit the graph. I'm going to graft it, hit graph, look at this, this thing is amazing, this thing is amazing. That's why this little launch, this little launch thing, that's why I said you have a mechanic in your pocket because your cell phone is in your pocket. And you saw, I mean, that was just a few. Actually, that was a very few of all the features this, this, that this thing can do. This little easy diagnostic 2.0 tool is great. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description um, giving some information on where you can buy it, the cost, and all that good stuff. I also have your standard OBD2 
uh, scan tool where you plug it in but it doesn't come close to this one giving you live data stores your information puts it on a graph thing is amazing amazing now imagine if let's say um, let's say your check engine light comes on and sometimes it's not always the most um, difficult thing to fix for instance uh, let's say a P0300 pops up which that's a pretty bad code but that can range from you know your air filter is dirty your mass airflow sensor is dirty your fuel uh, your fuel door or your gas cap is just open I mean that's an easy fix that because of this tool you can turn off that check engine code after you just close the gas cap uh, the gas cap door I mean I'm sorry after you just make sure the gas cap is locked and that just saved you a trip to the dealer now sometimes you do get some hard codes I mean sometimes you get some codes that do require uh, heavy heavy lifting so to speak where you would have to go to a mechanic but for all those other times this little thing right here this little thing could be your mechanic in your pocket pretty cool I'm glad I got it so as usual I appreciate your time uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to hit me up be sure to answer and remember launch easy diagnostic 2.0 again I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get it you guys have a good one okay as an added little bonus I'm going to talk about uh, the experience I have with their customer service you know, when I buy a product, when I buy an electronic device, I try to contact customer service just in case um, an issue might arise. I want to know how is it going to work. And when I contacted Launch Customer Service, it was flawless. They responded fast, friendly, courteous, and accurate. So if you do buy the product, and if you do have any issues, you call customer service, they'll walk you through everything smooth as butter. So that was just a little tip.